Right. So today we're gonna talk about cohorts. <laughs> so cohorts is one of my favorite uh, subjects. Uh, not because it's a cool word, cohort is a cool word, but also because it's a very useful uh, report in Google Analytics. And why I say that is because um, it helps me look at a couple of different things. First of all, it helps me understand if I do a website uh, change over two weeks, or let's just go through it from the beginning. What is a cohort? Well, a cohort is a segment of user over time. So I can compare the new visitors from one week with the new visitors from the second week with the new visitors from the third week. So this is a cohort report in Google Analytics and as you can see here it's uh, available under the audience tab and then cohort analysis. Uh, when you open this up what you can see here is that you have the acquisition date and you have a cohort size by day and then metric user retention. This essentially says that we will analyze users for every day. So for example, uh, on the 29th, all the new users that I got on the 29th of December, uh, how much did they uh, do of what I am asking here, meaning uh, user retention, how often did they come back? So it makes sense that during the first day, 100% of these guys were here. Then we look at how many percent of them were here day, day one, day two, day three, day four, from the time that they visited me the first time. And you can see here, the people who came to my site on the 29th of December, they only visited me that day, and then no one visited me uh, for the next seven days. The people who visited me on the 30th of December, 2% were back the next day, and then 2% were back the day after that. 31st of December, we have 2.8% the next two days, and then, so these are only these users only these users and only these users and then you look at them horizontally like this the reason that you want to do this is because if you made a change between the the 29th and the 30th uh, that change might if might affect these guys experience uh, and their understanding of your uh, of your complete uh, website uh, if you would bundle these together then it would look like uh, one percent would return and it wouldn't count for the change that you did between these two days. Uh, but if you look at this one alone with the 30th of December here, then you can look at what your change actually had, what kind of effect it actually had on the, 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 the users that you acquired the day when you had made the change. So, for example, if you are yeah, if you have like for me, for example, I started doing these video blogs and updates. If I want to know if people found them useful and come back for more, then I want to analyze the traffic that I got from the day when I started doing this. The people who came there before that probably found a useless website, but those who came there after that found it a useful website uh, and they will return more often to find more content. This is equally important if you're running a branding campaign, for example, and you've started it on the 29th or the 30th and people didn't know who you were or how you yeah, or like what you did or uh, where you were coming from or what even what you're trying to sell them and now you're working on your branding campaign before that then what this uh, report gives you is an indication as to whether or not people understand what it is that you're doing and understand it enough to find it useful because that's when they start returning. I have crappy numbers here and this is one of the things that I intend to bring up by, by posting more regularly on my website so that people will want to come back. Uh, and I want to give that impression. So I'm going to do design changes. I'm going to do videos in social media. I'm going to do all of these kind of uh, efforts in order to, to sort of try to bring the usefulness of my website up. Uh, under metrics here, you can not only cho choose user retention, but you can choose goal completions per user. A very good report if you actually have any goal completions, but I haven't set that up. Um, I've had it before on my website. So if I instead of say the last, uh, if I instead switch here to month and I take the last three months as it gives me the opportunity to do, or moreover, I take weeks and the last 
12 weeks. Then I can study this over 12 weeks and I can try to figure out whether or not I get people to come back over time. And as you can see here, I don't in this case. So I need to do something with the stickiness of my website in order to try to bring people to want to come back to my site. So those are some of the ways in which I use this report in order to do analysis of the updates that I do to my website. What effect does it actually have to the new users coming to my website? Do they understand me better than uh, they did before uh, or the users who came, the new users who came before? There are a lot of videos about this that explain this in very good detail and I will link to them in the description of this video. Um, but for now, it, let's just you know settle with it. It's a way of looking at new users, the, only the new users for every single week without, for example, creating a segment to watch them over a specific, like do, 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 nicely, neatly uh, put over each other. All right, so that was all with cohorts that I wanted to say today. Uh, I will write more about it, I'll probably follow up with more specific videos about it, So, but this was just an overview. Cheers!